73,000 solar panels, 13 transformers, and 338 inverters. That's high tech in action in the middle of nature. We're on the largest floating solar park outside of Asia, which was built last year on an 18 hectare artificial lake close to Zwolle in the Netherlands. It produces 6% of the city's energy needs. It's high technology with a unique design. Well, the floating solar park works, I guess, like a normal eh, uh, ground-mounted solar park or the solar panels on your roof. It's, um, but in this case, they are basically uh, solar panels mounted on a little boat, uh, you can say, um, with four floaters. Uh, that's the basis of the boat. And then around the floaters is the, a steel construction, uh, like a roof. The project was led by Bioarray, a European provider of solar energy. The German company operates worldwide and looks for renewable energy solutions that can make use of otherwise untapped resources, like this artificial lake in the Netherlands. The big advantage is that in countries which have a dense population but little land available, we can use space for which there's no more expedient use. In Osteuropa, wie zum Beispiel in Polen. Our facilities in Poland and Eastern Europe prove that for the first time we can generate solar energy for the same or even less cost than gas, coal or oil. Costs are an important aspect as investment in renewable energy systems is still expensive. By integrating cutting-edge components, the solar park becomes highly efficient and long-lasting, which in the long run cuts costs for the consumer and supplier. The beauty of renewable energies is that the sun and wind are free. This means that the longer a solar or wind park runs, the cheaper the electricity gets. This also means that we need long-lasting components. One of the key components of any solar farm is its inverters. These are the inverters, um, and every, I guess, row of boats ends up at the inverter. So you see the cables coming from the modules going under the walkway. Inverters like these ones from Huawei transform direct current from the solar panels into alternating current that can flow into the electrical grid and power our homes. At the moment, we are using even higher um, capacity inverters. So we need less inverters on the system as well to save space and to save cost. This huge floating solar park has a lifespan of at least 30 years. Most of the material used to make it is recyclable. These kind of innovations is, is key to, um, to power the future, I suppose. So this is the first step in that process, I think. But the next step, obviously, is also bigger lakes and the sea even. 